Are you serious? Are you serious? It's getting very serious down in Houston, but actually all of Texas. Uh, martial law, martial law. Well, there's a curfew in effect. It starts at midnight and goes till 5 a.m. But even two hours before midnight, the police are going to be and the National Guard are going to be uh, seriously discouraging people uh, anywhere on the streets of Houston tonight. Now, matter of fact, it's not just Houston. Uh, the U.S. military is now sending warships. Aircraft carrier is on its way to Texas as we speak because of the looting and the crime and the concern that citizens have that their homes and valuables are going to be looted. And not only just their homes, in many of the suburbs uh, of the city of Houston and surrounding cities, but the stores, uh, the downtown areas, the different uh, re- uh, you know, small businesses that are seemingly targeted now by thieves and thugs. Matter of fact, the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, has, com- has called and has uh, deployed all 12,000 members or troops of the Texas National Guard. And President Donald Trump has got the aircraft carrier headed in that direction. Matter of fact, with the floodwaters from Tropical Storm Harvey swallowing now entire Texas cities, the U.S. military is mobilizing its resources from states across the country to help local law enforcement and civilian volunteers in the rescue effort. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has activated the entire Texas National Guard, which made up of 12,000 troops. State and local military rescue units have plucked thousands of stranded residents from the water uh, on the top of their homes uh, in different places stranded. Uh, This is getting to be out of control. Uh, Two U.S. Navy warships, the USS Oak Hill being one of them, are being deployed to Texas, according to the Navy. And uh, as they come, they're going to help provide a lot of relief supplies like water and food. And uh, also a unit of Marines will be deployed upon the ground uh, to assist in any thing that needs to be done. The Air Force will also get in charge involved, so will the Navy helicopters will be flying rescue missions throughout Texas. And it's it's getting serious there uh, as the rescue efforts continue. Now, while this is going on, folks, there is uh, also an ugly element. It is great. First of all, the people in Houston and the people in Texas, all, all of them, they've been phenomenal in helping each other. I mean, it's been incredible, the stories, how the love of God and how, the, how the, the people have been pulling together miraculously in such a time. That's what Americans do. That's what Texans do. That's what the, the Cajuns in Louisiana will do. And they'll have to if we're going to weather the storm. Now, meanwhile, though, there's an ugly side. Storm hit Houston, and it, but now the influx of evacuees and the thousands of people in shelters are overflowing the shelters and concerns of the safety of women and children are now uh, very, very real. Also, there's been a major crime outbreak, looting, uh, armed robbery. Houston is strained under the arrival of tens of thousands of people fleeing the submerged homes and flooded roads and have faced an outbreak of looting and armed robberies that have forced a midnight curfew. Is this martial law? Well, it's real close. Matter of fact, the city opened the George R. Brown Convention Center over the weekend with the plan to house 5,000 people, but 10,000 showed up. The American Red Cross volunteers completely overwhelmed. But, boy, I tell you what, the people of Houston keep pulling together, keep building resources, keep uh, working with among themselves. And uh, it's quite amazing what they are doing there. And thank God and God bless them, everyone, I tell you. But we also have uh, situations developing where there is gangs, thugs, thieves, looters, armed robbery taking place 
in homes and businesses, and this is becoming a major concern uh, for the authorities who are trying their best to rescue people, yet at the same time, got to protect some of the uh, of, of the real estate, some of the businesses and some of the, uh, so this is getting to be very, very precarious. We're going to cover all of this tonight. We're going to cover it all as this is a crisis situation. The solar eclipse bringing a warning to America, but also preparing the body of Christ for such a time as this. We shall overcome. I'm believing I'm praying and I just have confidence in the body of Christ and in the American spirit, the people of America who who have been raised to reach out and to touch one another. Praise God we're doing it. And it is happening on the ground down in Texas and Louisiana. I'll be in Louisiana coming up very soon. And uh, uh, God is certainly doing some great things down there. I was in Dallas, Texas earlier this year, and I can tell you, there's some God-fearing people down in the Lone Star State. God bless all of them. Don't miss tonight. We have a very serious situation developing. I'm going to bring it to you in the live broadcast, but there is a chemical plant, a chemical plant that is on the verge of an explosion because it has no power and all the refrigeration in it is no longer working. The chemicals in the plant have to be refrigerated. If not, they will explode. There's no way to prevent this. We're on the brink of it, and uh, we'll give you all the information about that tonight on Primetime Live, 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 live. I'll see you at 10 p.m. Eastern. Pray one for another. Pray for the, the southern states, the Gulf states, as Hurricane Harvey is relentless. Are you serious? Are you saved?